all right uh good day everyone whatever time you are watching this very very video uh this is an illustration video for a washing machine and a high sense 8 kg top loader automatic washing machine fully automatic washing machine uh i want to use this opportunity to actually ask a lot of questions about washing machines and to actually teach you how to show you how to operate this washing machine it's an 8 kg automatic washing machine all right uh washing machines are actually uh categorized by the way they are being loaded either a top loader or a front loader there are some that have been loaded at the front there are some that have been loaded at the top just like this one and uh why this is considered an automatic washing machine is the fact that it does all its process automatically in the sense that it washes and spins without your interference it does it just sets the washing machine and it does the rest for you that's why it is, it is called an automatic washing machine if you are familiar with a twin top you know it manual has two spaces after the machine might have finished washing, you have to remove it and put it in the part where it spins. The spin is the process of removing the water in the clothes completely. Now this washing machine now, it removes the water from the clothing completely. So let, let's go straight to how to operate the washing machine. As you can see from the panel here, this is the power button. This is a, These are the programs, it has different programs quick if you have a clothes you want to wash just quickly a fusy clothes if the clothes is made up of wool memory echo jeans heavy delicate memory in the sense that if uh, if it's a, a particular wash process that's the program that's on that one before and you want to re just repeat it you don't have to start from afresh this is the start or pause button and to start the washing machine or pause it while it's, it's running this is the delay button and you can actually set the number of hours you want it to delay before it starts washing on its own assuming you're not around you want to soak it down that's you can actually delay it here this is the water level this is the wash 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 level water level process it shows the, the water level for the wash for the laundry in it if the laundry volume is high the water level you are going to use will be high as well it will be corresponding corresponding to it if it is low it requires lesser water compared to when the, the laundry is much this is the washing process you can see you see the soak wash rinse and spin you can actually run the whole process together in a, in a short period of time i will be showing you how to use it directly but let me just give you an overview you can actually soak the clothes you wash it you rinse it or spin it or you set it on the machine such that it will, it will soak wash rinse and spin automatically on its own now this one is for the kind of water you're using if you're using a hot, hot water the cold water if you are trying to do an extra rinse it's all clean that's why you set it up there so that's an, a general review of this washing machine and this is where the inlet for the cold water and the hot water inlets as me are using the hot water for a particular laundry I want to wash maybe your undies or any special laundry that you want to wash. Let's dive straight to the washing machine. Let me put it on. As you can see, it's on. And when you put it on, it automatically chooses fuzzy on its own. It chooses fuzzy. That's the that's the default settings. As you can see in this. In this uh, washing machine, 
there is laundry in it already as you can see so we are going to wash it we are going to try to wash it if you are using water from the tap this is the laundry portion this is the, sorry this is the detergent portion this is where to put your detergent and you want to wash it if you are using uh, the tap as you can see this is the inlet for the tap but for, for me I'm not using a tap for now this is the inlets from the tap that is connected to my tap here and at the same time you can run it I mean and that reminds me I've been having questions about the water the wash machine not keeping water I want to answer the question now if you behind the machine here that's where the outlet is the outlet of the washing machine is just by the left hand corner what you do is you have to raise the tap the the, the pipe you are using to as the outlet it doesn't have to you don't have to lie to the ground you have to raise it up to at least the midpoint of this washing machine for you to be able to not not to rush out I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say, but I, I believe people that have had the challenge, they know what I'm talking about. Like if you put the water, put water in the washing machine without setting the outlet, the water will just the washing machine will just keep pulling the water out. But you have to once the, the pipe is connected to the outlet, you have the outlet is the, the portion where the water, the machine, washing machine. Supposed to eject water after it is that's finished washing the dirty water because after washing your laundry, the dirty water needs to be ejected out of the washing machine. So there's an outlet down just the left bottom corner there where you can where the washing machine is supposed to eject water. So you connect the, the pipe to it, the outlet to it, and you raise it to a particular level, at least to the midpoint above the midpoint of washing machine and you notice it will not come out just like mine now it's not coming out there's water in the washing machine but it is not coming out all right let's go through it all right this way you can set it as you can see it has already set itself automatically but you can see adjust it you can set the water level as me i want to use the lower water level and put it on level two or or this or this depending on how i want to set it let me use one now is the washing process the process i want to use i can actually soak wash rinse or spin and this is a process to go through it i can do them sequentially or i can do it individually i can actually say okay i just want to spin maybe there's moisture in the in the, in the cloth and i want to just spin it move just like i stated earlier spin is the process of removing the water because after washing there will be that there still be, the moisture will still be in the clothing so it has to be removed that's the process of spinning that's what the spin process does so as me i just want to soak so let's say in this process let's wash rinse and spin this is what we do and of course we are using the cold water so this is machine and it tells you the amount of time it's going to spend 41 minutes here 41 minutes let's say we want to just wash without rinsing or spinning it's going to take spend 15 minutes let's say you want to spin just spinning it takes seven minutes so as you can see you can play around the the operation and see how it works let's say we want, just let me leave it the way i left it for 41 minutes that's where you can start your washing so just like i said by the time i start here you see if you start washing the clothing to wash itself and uh and adjust when it's true it is to wash rinse and spin and eject completely the dirty water in the moisture also, I also want to say something about the detergent. If you are not using the tap, 
like I said earlier, if you're not using the original, if you're not using the tap, maybe the pressure or the water coming out of the tap is not much. It can't enter the machine well. The force of the, the pressure of the tap, the pressure of the moisture coming out of the tap should be high. If it is very high, that's where the machine can actually take inlet from the tap. But if it's not high, you can still put water in it manually. Put water in it manually and put your detergents. And put your detergents in it. Just like I'm doing here. And put your detergents manually in it. Okay, I think that's okay. Then let's let's wash. All right. Thank you for watching the video. You can click the subscribe button. To encourage us to release more videos like this thank you